going on? Where are you taking me? Wait! Wait! Stop! Help! Help! Who are you people? Watch out! We're gonna have our hands full with this. Stop! Stop, please! Please, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Just talk to me, please. How am I supposed to go to the bathroom? What? Okay.
it! Fuck! Hello? Hello? What do you people want from me? What do you want? Thank you. 
Hey. Hello. I can hear you. Did you know you snore? I do not snore. Yeah, you do, actually, but it's OK. Listening to you these past few days, it's been the first time I haven't felt alone since this whole thing began. Uh, the past few days? That was out that long? Did you know there's other rooms like this? At least two of them. I saw them when they wheeled me in here. They thought I was unconscious, but I wasn't. Did you know that they also drug our food? I stopped eating that shit days ago. I know that must sound crazy, but it's this place. Do you know where we are? Looks like some sort of slaughterhouse. What do you think they want from us? I'm not planning on sticking around long enough to find out. I'm with you there. <laughs> what's, your, uh, what's your name, crazy boy? Adam. Adam. I'm, I'm Lisa. And no offense, but I'm not 100% convinced that you're not some figment of my overactive and possibly chemically altered imagination right now, so I'm gonna need some proof of your existence. I just wanna see you. I'm at the end of the aisle. Oh. See? I'm real. You have no idea how nice it is to see a friendly face. Oh, I guess you do. D don't eat it. It makes you compliant. It makes you hallucinate. Please, I need you to be lucid. I don't want to go through this alone. Like number one, I'm as lucid as it gets. Number two, you really should eat something. You're only making yourself weaker. And number three, <laughs> it appears we are in this together, so we're not alone. You're right. We're not alone. How long has he been there? I don't know. But this isn't the first time I've seen him. It's three, maybe four of them. And all they do is just stand there and watch. Fuck them! I'm not gonna give them anything worth watching. How can you be so chill about all of this? Look. These fucking people abducted us off the street, are forcing us to live in these shitty concrete cubicles and are treating us like goddamn dogs. I don't give a fuck what they think. Eat. Eat. Yeah, okay, I have a bad feeling about this. You, sh you should eat. Eat now! I won't. Bad dog. No. No, 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 no! Leave him alone! Shut it, bitch! Been a very bad dog. No, 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 no,
Adam? Fuck. You curse a lot. Shit. They moved us. Are you okay? I'm all right. Hey, look, I'm sorry they tased you. You didn't have to do that. You don't have to help me, but thank you. Where did they take you? I don't know. It was like a room smaller than this, like a solitary confinement. I had the weirdest fucking dream. I saw my ex-boyfriend from like three years ago. How long was I gone? I don't know. <sighs> was it more like an hour or a day? I can't remember the last time I ate. I feel like I'm starting to lose it, and when you're not here, I just... Adam. We're gonna be fine. I promise. Tell me about your family. I'm the youngest of three brothers by about eight years. My oldest brother was the worst. I remember sneaking into his room one day after school. He just bought himself this brand new PlayStation with all the money he saved up from working all summer. I knew he wasn't gonna be home till after dark. So I snuck in, lost track of time, and heard his angry voice at the door. Got home early from football practice and beat my kneecap so hard that I could not walk. I had to grip the carpet and claw my way out. It was worth it. Brothers are the worst. Hmm. My mom worked a lot. <laughs> and my older brother would watch me when I was young. Once he got his license, he'd tell her he was babysitting me, but really he would lock me in the basement so I wouldn't get into trouble while he was gone. One time, my mom was away all weekend. My brother went out Friday night and didn't come home till late Sunday. She didn't find me until the next morning. My brother convinced her that I locked myself in the basement during the night. She continued to let him watch me the next few years. And every time I ended up locked in that basement, I can't shake the feeling that I'm still waiting for someone to find me. Sure, you still want to eat that? I literally just touched that with a 10 foot pole. Aw, you almost made a joke. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, so am I. Eat. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, 
It could just be that we've been in here so long that we're delusional, but <laughs> this isn't nearly as bad as it looks. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> told you that. How do you feel? Pretty good, actually. Me too. This is the best I've slept since I got here. I don't care if they are spiking our food. I'll definitely have some more of that. Wow. I can't believe I just said that. Wait a second. What was the first thing I said about the food? Something about hallucinating? Look at my eyes. Are my pupils dilated? Your pupils look fine. Okay, but let's not ignore the elephant in the room. They moved us in our sleep again. If we whisper, they can't hear us. Now's the time to plan our escape. Yeah, great. What you got in mind? Okay, well, don't hit me with all your ideas at once. Oh, I got an idea. I just need to work out a few details. Fine. Keep your secrets. Just relax. You know, let it come to you. Rome wasn't burning a day. What about you? You got any ideas? First thing, we have to take off these collars. I mean, as long as we have these on, they can take us down remotely. Come here, let me see. You feel so warm. Yeah, you too. Look, I, I wouldn't wish this on anyone. But I'm so glad you're here. Me too. Promise me, if we get out... When we get out. When we get out of here, we find this son of a bitch that did this to us, Sleep. We don't want him to separate us. Adam.
doing? Getting out of here. We'll never make it out right now, okay? Look, they're watching us. Trust me. This was my plan. Okay. Shit. Mayday. Mayday, pineapple pizza! What the hell happened in there? Are you trying to make our lives more difficult? I thought you had this under control. I do. I mean, I did. It just, it happened so fast. I told you this was a bad idea. Adam is an unknown variable. That makes him unpredictable and dangerous. Lisa, this is not what we had in mind when we developed the experiment. Yeah, let's talk about that. I mean, since when did this behavioral experiment involve electric shock and psychotropic drugs? Fine, fine. We'll deactivate the fences, but I'm keeping the cattle prod. Well, who said anything about psychotropic drugs? We're administering a mild sedative to keep the subjects obedient. Obedient? How do you explain what I saw in solitary? Look, I'm not gonna say you didn't hallucinate, but you're probably just malnourished and dehydrated. Eat. Look, you don't have to continue if you feel like you're putting your health at risk. There are plenty of other subjects. Room three is particularly fascinating. We're integrating two alphas from- From rival fraternities on campus. And once we introduce a female in there, it's gonna get primal. <laughs> Honestly, it might be for the best if we pull you two out before anyone else gets hurt. And how exactly are you gonna explain this to Adam anyways? I mean, at least everyone here is getting paid for this. I told you, I have a plan for that. What are you gonna say? Oh, sorry I kept you chained up. Uh, thanks for not calling the cops. Or are you hoping to get him so sexually aroused that all the blood runs to his little dick and he forgets everything that happened here? <laughs> what? That shit's funny. It's funny. Yeah, laugh it up, but if Fisher finds out about any of this off the record shit, she's gonna have our asses. You know, she demanded to be informed the moment anything out of the ordinary happened. Where is Fisher now? Home asleep. It's almost 3 a.m. Why the fuck are you feeding us at 3 in the morning? Hey! Well, what are you doing up? Yeah, well, the power just went out, so the cameras are offline until we can reset the router. The network in this building is terrible. You know, if you had just let me hardwire this... No, you do not need to come down here. We'll have the cameras back up and running within five minutes. Ten minutes, tops, okay? And she hung up. Welcome. For? For killing the cameras when your boyfriend pulled his little stunt. You're lucky the live stream is on a 10 second delay. I could kiss you right now, George. Tease. I have to go back in. I have come too far to quit now. Fine. I just bought you 10 minutes. Do what you need to do, then you're going back in your cage. You see me how I just handled Fisher? Oh, shut the fuck up. That's macho. You know, I really wasn't expecting you to kidnap me right off the street. <laughs> we wanted to give you the same experience we give the others. I'm doing my part. Playing it up for the cameras and the interns. 
You were very convincing, by the way. Especially with Adam. Erica, let me borrow your phone for a few minutes. No, no tech for you. You know the rules. I made the rules. Social media deprivation is a huge component of the experiment. Yeah. Besides, I don't want your poop fingers all over my screen. <sighs> You're fine. How about letting me close the door? Come on. You know we have to keep watch to make sure you don't take any contraband back with you. Yeah, Fisher will know. Okay, what the fuck, guys? Can I get a little privacy here? Well, you do always say I'm just one of the girls. <sighs> Jesus, George, I can't go like this. Bitch, please. Do you really think there's anything these cameras haven't seen? Besides, this is technically the men's room. All the other rooms are doing fine. You two are the only problem so far. Adam's not there yet, okay, but we're close. I just need another day or two with him. I don't get what makes him worth all this trouble. You could have any other guy you want. Okay, yeah, that's the point, George. He's the one I want. <sighs> you know, you're lucky that this happened in the middle of the night while Eric and I are here. Do you have any idea how much pizza- Or weed. Or weed we're gonna have to give these interns to keep them quiet okay, about this? hey, get off my dick. It was an accident. Sorry, I just he can't. I get it. You're agitated, probably exhausted. Shit, I can't imagine my mental state if I spent two weeks in there. Wait, is that how long it's been? Fuck. I'm sorry. Just forget I said that. <laughs> George made that himself. He calls himself the kennel master. It's creepy as fuck. I hate it. I mean, I'm seeing it in my dreams. Well, then it's having the desired effect. At least something is working the way it should. Fuck, I am so close to phase two with Adam. Just relax. Let it happen naturally. <laughs> well, as much as it can in there. And try not to sabotage the rest of the experiment in the process, okay? <sighs> 60 seconds. I gotta get you back in there. Hey, what's really in the food you're giving us? It's not just a sedative, is it? I mean, it's 99 cents store chipped beef, so it's barely a grade above dog food, but that's it. Nothing psychotropic. Are you sure? Lisa, honey, you are the closest thing I have to a real family. Why would I lie to you? Thank you. For what? For being my light in the dark. I need you. Okay, I won't be able to get through this without you. Stay strong. And we're streaming. I should keep Fisher out of her asses for a few hours. Do you mind if I go lay down for a little while? I've got a splitting headache. Yeah, I've got this covered. I don't think we'll have any more problems tonight. 
What do you want to do about the interns? Barter some of my edibles for their silence. Just a handful each, okay? I want that bag back. Lisa, I had the keys. We were gonna get the hell out. What happened? You, you must have been hallucinating. And maybe you were right about the food. It felt so real. Well, you're my hero. <laughs> you're the only man who's ever wanted to rescue me. To be fair, probably haven't needed much rescuing until now. You'd be surprised. It's good to see you smiling again. Like, I'm just glad you woke up before this. Lights out. Don't eat too many and don't tell anyone what went on here tonight, got it? Let's go over the rules one more time. Be good. Walk only. Why do you suppose they let us out together? We're being integrated. Trust through familiarity and repeated exposure. Sorry. Uh, I studied animal behavior before realizing there was no money in it, so. Is there a scientific name for that, or are you just making it up as you go? It's one of the ologies. <laughs> I didn't realize you were so worldly. Well, there's actually a lot you don't know about me. Just as I'm willing to bet there's a lot I don't know about you. True. <laughs> I used to think this fence was electrified, so I never touched it. <laughs> After being in here for a while, I started to hope it was. Imagine my disappointment. No. You can't mean that. You're not the suicidal type. I just figured, might as well go out on my own terms. I don't know. I think I'd try to take out as many of those bastards as I can, if I had to go. See that old tire over there? This one time. I hopped the fence before anyone knew what was happening. I told myself if you could just make it past that tire, you'd be home free. How far did you get? I don't know. The tire was the last thing I saw before it blacked out. I didn't even make it past the fence. <laughs> yeah, that's because you're predictable. <laughs> I am. You gotta go all in when they're expecting you to fold. Like right now. They don't think we're gonna make a run for it. That may be. But as long as we have on these, what's the point? The point... is showing them we're not giving up. Be good. 
then I'll race you to the tire. On three. One. Two. two. to follow the rules? Fine. We'll do things my way. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Please! Help! Help! Make all the noise you want. These rooms are designed to silence the barking of bitches like you! No. What do you want from me? I want a goddamn thing from you! so fucking difficult. came in to relieve you about half an hour ago, but I haven't seen you on any of the monitors. Well, you know, just had to take care of a couple of troublemakers. Lisa again? They both made a run for it when I let them out this afternoon. Why would they try to escape? Why the hell does Lisa do anything? And I had to administer a sedative. I hate when you do that, George. Hey, someone has to keep the subjects in line. And why can't I access any of the cameras from the East Wing? Huh. They must have gone down, but I'll get them back online when I come back from lunch. Do you want me to, uh, pick you up anything? Uh, no. Oh, and Mark and Sarah didn't show up for their shifts, but I wouldn't worry. Things should be pretty quiet. What about Fisher? In a meeting afternoon. <laughs> We're good. What are you up to, George? George, you better not be fucking around. Hey guys, I know this is a little off schedule, but I feel like something strange is going on and I hate walking around this place by myself. 
Yeah. Okay. I need a break anyways. does. I understand. Thank you. Is that live? Yep. Huh. Looks like you've been busy while I was at lunch. Not really. It was pretty quiet, like you said. I just had Joel and Preston move him back in the kennels. I figured if all you did was sedate them, they could sleep it off back in familiar surroundings, right? What did I tell you about the East Wing? You told me not to worry about it, George. But that's what I do, I worry. Erica, I specifically- And Fisher's on her way here. What? Why didn't she call me? Wait. You call Fisher? What did you dose them with, George? That is not a sedative. I think we're losing sight of what this experiment was supposed to be about. Maybe she can get us back on track. She's here. Fuck, fuck, fuck! You have five minutes to explain to me why I shouldn't pull the plug on this project. Please, we're only halfway there. If you cut it off now, we'll have learned nothing. And, and think about all the wasted grant money. Why are they sleeping? This is not a scheduled sleep cycle. I had to sedate them. They tried to escape earlier. This is a behavioral experiment. You have no medical training. I am the only one authorized to administer any kind of drugs. You've crossed the line this time. Go pull Lisa out. I'm telling her this is done. What about the experiment? Forget the experiment. Forget about school. Just be thankful no one got hurt, or you'd be going to prison. I told you it was ill-advised to be a subject in your own experiment. Now this is the good stuff. A spike in adrenaline should be all we need to get Sleeping Beauty talking.
She locked us out. Fucking prison. She said we're going to prison. Well, if those sedatives are as harmless as you say they are, you have nothing to worry about, right? <clears throat> Professor Fisher. I pulled you out because I need answers. Who authorized the use of sedatives and other drugs to the subjects? I have release forms and physicals for every one of the participants except the one you call Adam. Why? I'm sure it's in there with the rest of them. He's not. I checked. Maybe. <laughs> you should check again. Do not presume to tell me how to do my job. I could help. I'm shutting this down. Do you have any idea the kind of liability the university assumes with a project like this? What if he gets hurt? What if he dies? There would be a lawsuit. It would be your fault, but it would be my ass. Professor Fisher, can we talk about this later? Why? What are you hiding? <laughs> I just think I'm going to be sick. Where is that document? I know you. I know you are not sloppy enough to miss a detail like that. Unless he doesn't know. Please tell me he's a willing participant. I took the liberty of having the university pull your file. No high school transcripts. No emergency contact numbers. No public record of Elisa Green before three years ago. Now you're taking hostages? I'm reporting this to the authorities. <laughs> You regret that spike of adrenaline now, huh? Good stuff, huh? Let's see how you like this shit. That's the thing about adrenaline. A little bit brings you up, but a whole fucking lot takes you straight down. Where's the stone cold bitch persona now? Please help me. Help me! Please! We've been drugging them for three weeks. Why the fuck did you call Fisher now? No, I've been sedating them. You've been drugging them illegally. Fucking Fisher, this is your goddamn fault! 
listen to yourself, George. Fuck. Well, you hurt the lady. Let's get her back in there. Where's Fisher? So Fisher just fucked off and left without saying anything. I guess. I mean, she bitched and moaned about liability and paperwork for a couple of minutes, but then I just reasoned with her. You reasoned with her? I mean, I pretty much had to promise her the soul of my firstborn, but she agreed. Give me a few more days. All right, wait here. I'm gonna suit up just in case. I don't know what kind of voodoo you use on Fisher, but you got lucky. It's only a matter of time before it all falls apart. Don't worry about Fisher. Look, Adam came back for me. Okay, phase two is done. The end game starts tonight. I need to know what your plan is. You keep saying you have one, but I don't see a clean way out of this. It ends the same way it began. Just drop us off in the middle of the night with bags over our heads. Okay, he doesn't know any of you. He doesn't know where we are. It is perfect. I just need to prep him tonight and then we'll disappear. Disappear? You know what I mean. Drop off Fisher's radar. What about the rest of us? Remember, I need you. You're my light in the dark. Just. Just keep the light burning a little while longer. This doesn't feel right. I'm calling Fisher. But everything else up to this point has felt just fine, huh? Give it back. If Fisher comes back here, we're all going to jail. Is that what you want? Just go outside, get some fresh air, and mellow out a little bit. Okay, you'll feel better. I'll do the rounds, all right? And if you still want to call her when you get back, then I won't stop you. Fine. Awake. It's this place, okay? It is getting to us. Just think of a pleasant memory, you know, from the outside. I can't think of anything. You must have had some joy in your life. Just, just, just think of a happy memory.
What happened? Lisa's dangerous. She, she's not who she says she is. Oh, I know. You don't know Lisa the way I do. Nobody does. I would do anything for her. Tell me about your first love. Love is just one of those words, you know? I love my parents, I love my dog, but... Come on. Look, maybe you've never said it. But you must have felt it. Yeah, sure, but... It wasn't anything serious. What about you? You ever been in love? Yeah. It was one of those moments. I was standing there in the quad and our eyes locked as he was walking towards me and, and in that instant I saw our whole future together. I mean, <sighs> a wedding and kids and vacations and growing old, I mean, everything, like all from a single glance. <sighs> he kept walking and I just stood there, like hypnotized, just waiting for him to turn around, you know, expecting him to turn around and for that last look. I mean, that, that's what guys do, right? That's what that is what every guy has done. Just, just not him. I didn't even know his name. But I loved him. And I lost him in 30 seconds. And there hasn't been a day that I haven't thought about him since. I bet that sounds silly, huh? That's not silly at all. I get it. Sometimes you just connect. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like like the way I I connect with Something you and Alec. Bell didn't ring before lights out.
Did you hear that? found her like this and I was, I was gonna come tell you what the, 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 the power went out and I don't believe it she wasn't gonna let Fisher pull the plug on this thing we've got to call the police now hold on don't you want to see how this is gonna play out like you said no one's gonna miss Fisher I can't pretend this never <laughs> I know you don't know me, but you have to listen to me. Adam! I know who you are. You're one of them. I was. I was one of them, but now I'm one of you. I'm friends with Lisa. And we have to get out of here. Where is she? Where's Lisa? You tell me! Where did you people take her? I don't know! This whole experiment got out of hand and now people are dying! What experiment? What experiment? Tell me! This whole thing is a behavioral experiment, treating humans like animals, funded by the university. Lisa dragged you into it because she's had this mad crush on you from the moment she first saw you. She's been fixated on that for over a year now. That story she told me. That was about me. No, 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 stop it! You're trying to get inside of my head! Fuck you! I get it. Fuck me, fuck this place, and fuck this shitty situation! But I know the way out of here. You need me to get there. Why should I trust you? You still don't believe me? Okay, uh... You tried to escape when I was feeding you. You hit me over the head and took my keys. Yeah, Lisa, she told you you were hallucinating, but you weren't. It really happened, and you were drugged to forget about it. We almost pulled you out then and there, but Lisa wanted to keep going, because 
She wanted more time to wear you down. <sighs> that story she told you about her brother locking her in the basement? Yeah, she told me the same story, but she said her shitty mother did it because she knew I'd relate to it more. That's what she does. She gets in our heads. That crazy bitch. No. No. No, you bitch! You're ruining it! How's the view from under that bus? Ah! So emotional. <laughs> it's a bitch losing trust in the ones you love, isn't it? This must be a hallucination. This is very real. She is ruining it, okay? Just get him out of there. I can salvage this. You heard what he just said. Why can't you just let him go? Please. George, I... Let me fix this. But first, there's a couple of things I want to show you. <laughs> Look familiar? <laughs> they should. They're... My ex-boyfriends. Not just your exes. This is a collection of every man who has ever wronged you. And they're here to be punished. But here's the interesting part. The recent ones call you Lisa. And more than a few years back, they call you Natalie. And further still, they know you as Ashley. So I guess you could say that I'm the only one who knows the real you. That's the difference between me and every other man in this room. I know who you really are. I know what you've done and I'm not scared. See, you think I haven't been listening, but I've heard everything you've ever told me. And I see how these men treat you, and I understand. I understand why you wanted to do this whole damn project in the first place. But your mistake was Adam. He's not right for you. I'm right here. I thought you were gay. I might as well be in your eyes. You're never gonna see me as any legitimate love interest, okay? I've been stuck in the friend zone since day one. But I couldn't bear the thought of being invisible to you. And I couldn't bear the way you look at Adam. I needed to make you see. The same way you were gonna make Adam see. When I say I'll do anything for you, I mean it. All those alpha male jock types, I mean, you know they're just gonna use you and use you up until there's nothing left. That's not love, Lisa. This, this is love. I finished what you started. And I know you're no stranger to death, but we did this together. And I'm in this with you now, and it feels, it feels amazing. 
And now, our final destination. Would you like to know what they're saying? Well, don't be a wallflower. Get in there and dance. George, stop. This experiment is over. This shirt is dead. Get these collars off. It's been a lot of talk about losing focus. And I agree. I don't like the direction this shit show is going. So Lisa is gonna help me turn it around. What is this? It's a choice. Lisa. What the fuck is going on? It's clear one of these two is just a distraction. Choose. This is crazy, Lisa. You don't have to play his game. You're my best friend. Is this part of the experiment? What am I doing here? Are you playing me? No, hey, don't say that. Adam, you know me better than that, okay? You... You know me. I know you're all fucking batshit. <laughs> oh. Talk, 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 talk. Choose one. Lisa, you were right. George is drugging you. This isn't your fault. No, you know what? It is your fault. It's your fault. I mean, I heard everything that you said, but you're turning him against me. You've done that yourself. You're obsessed and you can't even see how many people are getting hurt because of it. I sure was right. Do that, Lisa. The choice has been made. Though it was never really yours to make in the first place. But I didn't choose Adam. To be fair, you really haven't displayed much prowess in the decision-making department lately, have you? So maybe it's for the best that I step in. Please. I'll do anything you want. I know you would. Willing to give myself to you, okay? That, that's what you want, right? Jesus, George, you're a fucking lunatic. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? I mean, you did press her button. See, this is us coming up with a solution together, okay? I chose Adam and you chose Erica. And no one's gonna miss her. She has no family, no friends beyond this room. And no one even knows he's here. Okay, just make his body unidentifiable and we're in the clear. This is always how it was gonna end, wasn't it? Burn it down, disappear, and do it all over again. He doesn't have to die. <laughs> Did you hear that? She said he doesn't have to die. She doesn't give a shit about you. <laughs> Apparently, she doesn't give a shit about me either after all of this. That is not what I meant. Look, just... Stop. Think about what you're doing. Once you put Fisher in the freezer, you pass the point of no return. Now we finish this.
I will give you what you have always wanted. There's nothing you could offer me that I haven't already taken. I'm not taken. <laughs> that sounds inappropriate. Let's just say you're a fair. I wouldn't. You are. You are. You're, 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 you're using sex and relationships like a currency, and you're weaponizing them again. Scott, let's just talk about this. Just deactivate his collar. No, I'm done talking. All we do is talk, talk, and talk, and talk, and talk, and talk. Talking doesn't get us anywhere. It's never going to get us anywhere. So I'm going to tell you something in the only fucking language you understand. George! George! because he was the one man who didn't want you. Erica, you pushed my fucking button. You were my best friend, my family. You and George really are perfect for each other, two sadistic peas in a fucking pod. Look, I know that you hate me. Right now, okay, I fucking hate myself, but the only way that we are getting out of this is if we work together. What can we do like this? What did I miss? Oh, oh. <laughs> hmm. That's on you, princess. Some damsels aren't in distress. They cause it. And remember, I did say every man who wronged you was here to be punished, didn't I? And how much heartache did Adam here provide you with? Let's turn that frown upside down. Just push this button and all of this will be over. I understand your hesitation. Last time I asked you to press a button, it didn't do anything. But I guarantee this one does. It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. This will heal you, make you whole again. And we can't have a room full of witnesses, can we? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? No! 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 Fuck, no, 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 oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lisa, wait, 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 wait. I wanted was to 
not! We've got to get the collar off, okay? He still has your remote. Lisa! I know all your secrets. I devoted years to you, Lisa. You all blamed yourself when your sister drowned. But it wasn't an accident, was it, Lisa? Go, go. Your roommate never killed herself. You got rid of her and fucked her boyfriend. Ah, you can't run from your past this time. I fought for you. I sacrificed for you. Unlike the rest of these fuckers, I will not die for you! Look at me, Lisa! Don't ignore me! I would have been good to you, Lisa. I loved you, and you wasted it. You fucking wasted it, Lisa. You fucking wasted it. Why couldn't you see me? Why couldn't you love me? I don't want to do this. I didn't want to do this. You made me do this. Oh. shouldn't leave your toys lying around. Wait, 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 please, let's Shh. talk. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You're right, talking never got us anywhere. So, <laughs> we're gonna tell you the only language that you'll understand. Never gonna hurt us again. I almost left. I made it to the door, but I couldn't leave you. You need help. And I love you. I didn't want this to be painful, <laughs> but, you know, we've got to make your body unidentifiable. <laughs> you know, dental records, fingerprints, all that. It wasn't lying, you know, when I said I needed you. And it's true, I, I consider you family, too. But that's the thing about family. They make sacrifices for each other. Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs>